Hey Jeff here, your YouTube reviewer of New England Brews. Welcome back to NEBR, New England Beer Reviews. Pumpkin season is upon us. Not quite Labor Day yet as I review this, but um, end of August, pr pretty close. Labor Day weekend is coming right up. And today, from the Harpoon Brewery of Massachusetts and Vermont, this is the Harpoon Unfiltered UFO Pumpkin Ale. Comes in with an ABV of 5.9% ABV. This beer was first brewed in 2011, so this is the third year that it has been around. Just another member of the UFO family, which is a fairly popular uh, line of beers from the Harpoon Brewery, which first began operations in 1986. And I started drinking Harpoon probably not long after that. Probably in the late 1980s was when I had my first Harpoon. So, uh, so Harpoon is one of those early, uh, early craft brewers that really kind of hit the scene when the 80s uh, began, sort of the wave of it all, and the 90s and whatnot, and uh, Harpoon has survived ever since. So I'm going to open this one up and give it a shot. Right underneath there, I got a little opener that you couldn't quite see. Give it a pour into this glass. Pumpkin ales at this time of year are pretty predominant. As a matter of fact, uh, they've really taken off in the last five years or so. Uh, they are a brew that a lot of people look forward to every year. Uh, they really come out, they've been coming out earlier and earlier. I've been seeing them, started seeing them in early August. I think I might have even seen some as late as the end of July. Uh, a lot of people uh, who are craft brew enthusiasts won't touch the stuff till after Labor Day. But hey, it's out there, it's worth a try, and I figured I'd try it today. So let's give it a pour like I did and see what it looks like. Getting kind of a, a very cloudy, uh, hazy, Amber orange color with a bit of a light head. Um, it is an unfiltered brew, so it's going to have that kind of hazy, milky look to it. It's um, semi opaque. You can't really see through it really well, but you can uh, you can tell that there's uh, you know it's unfiltered just because of the cloudiness in the uh, in the way the beer looks. And now let's check out the aroma. Mmm, pumpkins and yams and spice. That's what you expect in that kind of a beer. Pumpkins, yams, and spice. A mild sweetness. Time for the taste. Pretty easy drinking. Medium body. Kind of smooth and creamy. Uh, sort of a malt note to it. But again, the pumpkins come crashing down uh, like they should for a pumpkin ale. You get uh, that pumpkin flavor pretty much up front with a nice maltiness and um, kind of lingers on the back of the tongue. Mm. Easy drinking. A beer that's uh, quite easy to drink. Uh, not quite as uh, pumpkin-y, I would say, as some beers in its uh, category. Some people really like that pumpkin flavor to the point where it's you can almost taste the cinnamon and the uh, the pumpkin pie. Um, this is uh, slightly more muted, but you're definitely getting a pumpkin taste. I mean, it's really good. I like I like this pumpkin ale. It's 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 a nice beer. Mm -hmm. Kind of a, a a mild bitterness to it, or. Just sort of a, a mild hop finish. Um, not earthy, not piney, not floral, but it's got that clean, crisp hop finish going on to kind of mingle in with the, uh, the whole pumpkin character that's going on with this particular ale. Mm. Does linger. Lingers for a bit. Uh, so it's something that will basically um, stick with you after you've had it. Pretty easy to drink. Um, you know, a likable pumpkin ale. You know, so many of them have that rather uh, obvious flavor of pumpkins. And as again, this one's a little more muted than some. Not as much in your face as some can be. Uh, which you know, I kind of like it that way. I like I like some of my flavored beers, my vegetable and herbal beers, to be more balanced, more muted. You know, just not in your face. You know. So anyway. It's that time of year again. 
pumpkin year, pumpkin season. <laughs> so anyway, this is Harpoon UFO Pumpkin Ale. Thanks for stopping by. I'll catch you again next time.